Hey boys and girls, it's Miss Shoop here. Today we're going to be using familiar food names to practice our rhythm patterns. If you have time, you can make a menu like I have here. I'll give you instructions on that later after we go through the rhythms on this next slide. Okay, this is the slide that is going to give you some ideas for your menu. And if you don't have time to make a menu, just practice these rhythms. That's really all this is about anyway. Uh, these rhythms are how we would normally say these words. So there's really nothing mysterious about the, the musical notation with them. But I'm going to go ahead and say them out loud with you. Say them with me. And we'll put two beats of rest or beats of silence in between each one. Here we go. One, two. Ready, slow, pop, tarts, hot cocoa, scrambled eggs, chicken nuggets, pork tenderloin, cinnamon bun, strawberry jam, apple turnover, barbecue chicken, pizza casserole, carrot sticks and dip, beef ravioli, rice crispy cookies, pancakes maple syrup, cinnamon applesauce. So if all you have time to do is read those rhythms, that's great. Do it two or three times. Get them in your head. Um, you can even make up some with foods that you like that aren't on this menu and see if you can make up some rhythms. Um, otherwise, we're going to go on and we're going to make a menu using rhythm patterns that you know. I would highly suggest that you use the rhythm demonstration slide that I just showed you for your ideas. I think it would be okay for second and third grade to stick with ta, ti, ti, and tika, tika. And those are typically found on the first and third rows of that slide with the food pictures on it. And fourth and fifth grade can do them all. You can be as creative as you want with your menu. I even gave my cafe a name. Uh, I have three specials today, and I'm going to read them off to you. Today's specials. Pop. Tarts, hot cocoa, cinnamon bun. I hope you liked today's lesson. Share your ideas with me on Dojo.